we're going to look at something in this module called tapping. This is basically a motion where the fingers are lifting on and off the strings at a fairly fast speed. And if you watch any clip of Formby, you'll see him during his solo doing this finger tapping. And there are different meanings behind the term tapping, which we're going to explore in the subsequent lessons. But first, let's just think about what tapping musically does. I'm going to play the split stroke just on a C chord. Now I'm going to play it with this tapping. See if you can hear a difference. Did you hear the difference? I'll just do it one more time. No tapping. Tapping. We've got this new melody incorporated. This is what the tapping is doing. We're taking fingers off to release other notes that aren't necessarily in the chord, but it creates this new melodic and much more interesting sound. And the way we tap and the fingers we tap and on which string we tap differs depending on what chord you're playing. Let's break some of those down in this module. Now, don't worry if you're still getting to grips with the split stroke. In fact, even if you're not quite there yet with it, but you're making good progress, I'd suggest starting this module because it allows you to incorporate something else simultaneously with the split stroke so that perhaps they would become intertwined, which is exactly what we want. Let's look at the chord of C. Now, that is what the example I was just doing. And so all we need to do is take our finger off, whatever finger you're using for the C chord, I use my little ring finger here. Just take it off the string like that. It's only down on the full down strums. Then for everything else, it's off. Now I'm exaggerating this movement here for the purposes of demonstration. But what it should really look like is just this small, tiny little movement that's just enough in order to release the sound of that open string. Let's apply the same logic to a C7 chord. You'll notice the similarity between the C and the 7, apart from the name. We've got individual fingers on the A string. And it's on the A string that we're doing the tapping. Because it's that A note that we want to release and that we want to hear. Something else you can do, a variation, is if you put your fingers down for both a C and a C7 at the same time, you can tap the ring finger, the finger on the third fret, to release the note of the C7. Or you could even mix and match. Do a bar of that and then a bar of your normal C7. You've got a lot of variations and a lot of options there. So just try that out and see how that feels under the hands. Hi, this is the Formby Fundamentals course with me, Matthew Quilliam. I've been studying and playing the George Formby style pretty much all of my ukulele playing career ever since I was 11 years old. Since then I've gained a deep understanding into the mechanics of how all of the Formby style works and in the last few years I've been teaching workshops and private students about how to play the Formby style and so I've got a lot of experience and know-how as to how to get across all of this information to you in the most fun, approachable and accessible way. This is the course for you if you've never played George Formby before or maybe just a little bit and you're feeling a little bit lost and by the end of the course you'll be able to play a coherent George Formby style solo through two hours of videos split up across 40 lessons and seven modules. This is a step-by-step -step guide from getting you from zero to being able to play a really great sounding George Formby solo. So head over to matthewquilliam.co.uk to begin your ukulele journey today.